What's up YouTube, Jay Traveling here. Today I've got another video for you and I purchased a Gravis card from Alter Component. If you guys don't know who he is, he's another crypto mining YouTuber. Check his channel out. He also sent me a letter on top of it. So let's check out and see what is in this envelope. And it looks like it's actually just taped up. Oh, not just tape, but open this up and see what it is. So we got Alter Component. Here we go. And a couple stickers that I can put around on my mining rigs. Now his crash a lot. So if I put these on there, I might get the same result where my rigs will start crashing, becoming unstable. So I, I may leave these more in the office hanging around here. Uh, this one looks like it's a magnet. And these two look like they're stickers, so we'll leave them off to the side here. It says, it's such a great day to be a, a sticker. Thor would drop you a couple of a couple of the hot off the press sort of alter component stickers. Appreciate you and glad to be part of the mining community. The mining and content creation community with you. So that's a little letter he wrote with me along with a couple stickers check his channel out great guy great content uh, let's get on to the box of the gpu that i purchased now me and him go back and forth a lot uh not arguing or anything but we go back and forth with gpus a lot we buy some decide we want to go a different direction get rid of it get something else decide we want to go a different direction again buy more and pretty much it's an ongoing revolving door. So this GPU, it's a 30 series GPU. If you looked at the title, you already know what it is, but I purchased a Zotac 3070 from him. Now this is a full hash rate card. Uh, I do not buy cards that are not full hash rate, but this one he was taking off of rig to replace with another one and did not have room for. So I purchased it from him. I'm not going to tell you the price that I purchased it, but I did. So let's open it up and look at it. Now this is my only Zotac 30 series card. And I did stay away from them for the longest time because of all the issues that people were having with the fans. Um, but I caved, I bought it and he gave me the box with it. And when somebody gives me a box with it, I get all excited to have a new box with a GPU in it that I just buy it. So here we go. The actual GPU. Now, it does come with what looks like a splitter. So I'm assuming this came from Zotac. Uh, it's still packaged up and it looks like this is two six pin to a four pin adapter which i really don't understand why this came with it uh i won't be using it so i'm just going to put it back in the box so we will put that and it came with a second one i guess i don't know i'm, I'm assuming that zotac gave them but I, I don't understand that most power supplies that you're going to be running in a gaming computer it's going to come configured with pretty much the power that you need now this one does take two eight pins on the side so i don't understand this sending it with a two six pin to eight pin adapter now as a crypto miner that may make a little bit more sense to use something along those lines but the reality of it is I'm not going to use those. They're going to stay in the box and no crypto miner that I know would use them. Here's the card. So it does have the yellowing around the fans, which is pretty common. Now I was told to just take some sticker off, but it looks like it's been removed already. Uh, I mean, it is a nice looking card. This will be going onto a mining rig. I'll be replacing my 
Founders Edition. That's on my temporary rig with this one. And eventually, I think this is going to get homed inside of an Octo Miner. So push comes to shove with all the fan issues. I'll just take the shroud off, keep all the parts in a bag, and run it, which is passive cooling, and see if that cools down the GPU or I run it with some high-powered 120 millimeter fans just zip tied to the cooler I don't know uh, I have no problem modifying something to get it to work properly but it is nice looking uh, so tack just cheaped out on the fans from what I've been reading but this is my first one and alter component claimed no fan issues with this and I trust him so I'm going to go ahead and say that there's no fan issues with this card as of right now he's been mining with it he for about six months so I'll get it onto a rig shortly, not in this video. Just wanted to show off the car, and this is my first white Zotac, and it's a shame that so many people had issues with their cards, with the fans, because this is a very nice looking card. Uh, six or 12 of these on a rig would just look awesome, especially being that this one is non-LHR. Uh, the problem with Zotac also was, if you guys remember during the height of things, they were charging a good amount of money for their GPUs. This one got up to close to, I think, the $900 range just for a 3070. Wasn't even the TI variant. Now, it was non LHR. And even when it was LHR and they were hard to get, they were still about $900. But, you know, prices have come down since then and stuff's coming more in stock. So please don't be out paying $900 for a 3070. Now, if you're a crypto miner and you want that non-LHR and you want to mine Ethereum and Ethereum Classic and Ergo with it without limitations and not having to deal with all the unlock miners, I can see you spending a little bit more, probably in the $800 to $850 range for a GPU that's a, a 3070. Personally, I stick to around $750 when I'm searching eBay to, to buy 3070s because these are, 3070s are my favorite cards, so as of right now for mining 3070 is the best i think and that's my opinion don't obviously just go buy a bunch of 3070s because i said it's the best one but you know thanks for checking this video out i just wanted to show you guys my first zotac card uh hopefully i don't have any issues with it if you guys are running zotac cards write down the description below uh your experience with it. if you had issues with the fans if you had to tear them down repaste them repad them uh you know like i said change out fans or what kind of solutions you're doing to get around the, the messed up fans that are on it these ones are spinning pretty freely so it seems like they're in good shape and i'll probably be running them about 60 to 70 percent once they're actually on the rig but thanks for checking this video out make sure you hit that like button comment down below hit that subscribe button stay tuned for more